Welcome back to the Engineer at Angler. My name's Franco. I'm a professional engineer, a lure builder, and a lure designer. And today, I got a package in the mail. We're gonna do an unboxing and a review of a product. Now this company approached me and asked me if I wanted to review their new UV flashlight. And before I answered, I kind of researched their product line online and they're makers of like high-end flashlights. And I thought, well, this is probably the kind of flashlight people use just for fun, you know, to light up day glow t-shirts and maybe go around looking for scorpions at night. I figured it's probably a flashlight that emits a UV light that's probably up in the 400 nanometer wavelength range. And that's getting into like the visible light where it's really great for parties and all, but I want a flashlight that sets resin like this little cheapy one here. So I was actually going to turn them down, but then I looked at the specs on the UV light and this little flashlight puts out UV light at 365 nanometers in wavelength, which is kind of hard to find. And that really caught my attention. I thought, if this thing has that kind of power at that wavelength, it's gonna be great for a lot of little jobs around lure making. Now I have UV lights all over the shop and I use each for a little different purpose. If you've been watching this channel, you know I've got this big chamber where I put my lures once I've given them a clear coat of UV resin. And this is for big stuff, things that are large, need to rotate and are going to take a while. For small items, things like filling holes, gluing things on, and casting small parts, I've been using this little spotlight. But this thing really is for kind of medium-sized things and for small things that I need to set really accurately, handheld. I've got these little LED uh, UV flashlights. Neither one of them are very powerful. Let me take the flashlight out of here and I'll show you. It's a really streamlined, kind of high-end flashlight and it's dual beam. It actually has a white light and then a UV light. The maximum setting on the white light is a thousand lumens. That's a lot of lumens for a little tiny handheld flashlight like that. And this thing really just came online. There are actually starting to produce UV flashlights because they're planning to make some UV resin. That'll be interesting too. The company is Olight and I'll put a link to their website down below and I think they're going to give me a discount code and I'll put it in the description if they do. So let's go ahead and quit talking and start opening. Really streamlined. It's got some heft to it though. Oh, that is slick. Very sleek. You can see it has two beams. It's got a nice aluminum clip. It's got a nice dial. I'll let you toggle between a reg the regular light and the UV light. So I think we're gonna need to charge it. That's the other nice thing about it is that it's got a nice long lasting lithium battery in this thing. We get a little thank you note from the Olight team. You're welcome. And this is the charger wire. Just a standard USB. But what's cool is instead of an insert connector, it's just got a magnetic connector. That's really slick and it comes needing a charge. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and I'll let you know how long it actually takes to do the initial charge. It's got a little red LED. It's really dim so it's hard to see but it turns green when it's charged. So that's and I've been keeping myself busy by painting lures while I'm waiting for this thing but it has gone green. I think the camera picks up the green a little bit. I'm kind of excited to see what it does. Okay I just shown this thing in my eyes. I got a big white spot. All right, let me show you what the white light can do. This is regular. This is the low setting, which is bright. And that's maximum. It is absolutely insane. All right, enough blinding myself. Let's see what the UV light right. can do. Okay, so let's put it on UV. Just switch it over and there it is. Ooh, I can actually feel the heat. Wow, that's very different. This is how I normally test flashlights I just get. First thing I do is create a good sized droplet on a piece of paper. And then I'm gonna hit it with the UV light and I'm gonna to count to five and then test it. Okay, let's see if it got hard at all. <laughs> five seconds and this thing is already hard. Wow, that is hard already in five seconds. All right, let's do something a little bigger. Okay, here's a little lure blank that I need to add this little split shot to. So I'm gonna drill a hole for, for the weight. So I shoved the weight in there, made sure it was under the surface. And now I need to fill this gap and bring it up flush. All right, now let's hit it with our new flashlight. And that's about six seconds and it's rock hard and nice and smooth. Just a little sanding and this thing's ready to go. So this is a treble hook I put some feathers on just to spruce it up. And lots of folks will use some nail polish on the whipping threads, but I find that to be a little messy and it takes a long time to set. So what I like to do is take a little bit of UV resin and just spread it on there. And 
This way I can make a really nice uniform bead. And of course it won't set until I apply UV light to it. And when I got it nice and coated and nice and even, I can apply the UV light to it. It only takes like five or six seconds for this thing to set up completely. And that's a nice hard set right there. I mean, look at that, it looks like it has a little glass bead on it. And sometimes I like to cast my own eyes, it's usually big ones, ones that I'm gonna use either for a big lure or for a frog. And I made this little silicone mold. All right, I'm gonna take some UV resin and fill up one of these cavities about to the top. Should do it. Now that's a pretty good amount of volume of uh, UV resin, so it should take a little longer for this flashlight to set it. So I'll just count to 10 on this one. All right, let's see if that got good and rigid. It's definitely hard on the top. Let's see if I pull it out, if it's set. Oh yeah, all right, we've got a perfect little droplet of resin there. And it's nice and hard, and I can actually feel it got hot. All right, let's do another one. We'll make it a little more difficult by putting one of these stick-on eyes right on top of it. And that'll kind of block a lot of the area on the back and let's see if it can set it around just that little edge and you have all that other stuff that's in the shadow of the eye. So I'm gonna try to go around the edge and see if I can get behind that eyeball, see what it looks like. Oh, I put a bubble in it. And that's that. So speaking no, of lure eyes, let me show you one other way that I use this hand applied UV resin technique to do two things. One, it can act as a glue to stick on eyes that maybe don't have a good sticky back, like these don't. These are cheap Chinese eyes, but they look really good. But the other key element here is that a lot of times big eyes like this have air behind them. And when the resin starts to set, it warms up and it makes that air bubble up around the eye. What I like to do is I'll use the UV resin almost like a little bit of caulk around where I'm gonna put the eye. Then I set the eye on it and we'll hit it with the UV light. And now the eye is on there, it's stuck, and it won't allow any bubbles to come out from behind it. All right, this is a good time to answer the question of the week. Every week I try to answer one question from a subscriber, and this week's question is about UV epoxy. Now I get a lot of questions about the setting time and the hardness of set epoxy. And usually issues with the epoxy stem around the quality of the light you're using and how long you're leaving it and how close you can get it to that light. But this question was about the finished hardened product. The person asked if I found that the hardened UV resin was easy to scratch. Now, I don't know if it's easy to scratch, but it certainly will scratch, especially with the point of a sharp hook. Let's try it. First with the little bead we just made, and I think you can see the scratch right there. Let's put one into this black finish. And yes, it'll scratch. But the good news is that when it's underwater, the scratches just disappear. They fill in as if you put another clear coat on it. All right, I'm always looking for interesting questions to answer. So if you have some, put them in the comments. I read all of them. I try to reply to all of them and I try to answer the questions as well. So submit yours and it might be the next one on the question of the week. And if you like to make or paint your own jig heads or just modify them a little bit, I made and painted this one. You can add an eye to the jig head and then using just a little bit of resin on a, on a brush, you can put a thin coat on. And then instead of having to hold the flashlight in one hand and spin the jig head in the other, you can set it down on a metal surface. Then I can just turn it on and I can make sure I don't drop it and use both hands, rotate it in front. And I'll give this thing like 25 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, since I've got to rotate it so much. And in no time at all, you've got a jig head with eyes that has a nice protective surface on it. And those eyes are not coming off. And, and even if you don't make your own lures, just having UV resin around as a glue is fantastic. But you can also use it for a couple of other things that are unrelated. For instance, if you camp out in the desert, at night, you can use this to spot scorpions because when the UV light hits a scorpion, he kind of glows and you can see him a mile away. 
Also, if you've got pets and you've got carpet, do yourself a favor. Turn off all your lights and go around with a UV flashlight. Look on your carpet. If your pet has ever done anything on that carpet, you'll know it'll like glow. It. All right, I'm gonna put all the contact information, all the website information in the description. If you're interested in this light, this just came out last week. They actually sent it to me before they made this thing public. So it's only been on the market for less than a week. So we've kind of ignored that it has a, like a really killer flashlight on it. It really isn't a bargain basement flashlight. It's a high quality flashlight and the price point is kind of appropriate to that. And I'm sure with all the clever lure makers out there that watch this channel, there are other ways that you guys are using UV that I don't even do. All right, thank you for watching. If you guys are into product reviews, let me know and I'll try to do some more of them. Well, I'm hoping to do a fishing trip for the next video, but that's contingent on the weather and hopefully we'll get it. So leave me a thumbs up, share this stuff with your friends and subscribe. I'll see you guys next Friday. Wow, this thing, I can't believe this little flashlight can just light up the trees like this. Oh my goodness. Woo, that's pretty impressive.